Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to speak to you. How does it feel to be on the red carpet here at the Beefers tonight? Oh, it feels absolutely amazing. I can't, I can't think of a better way to end the crazy two years that we've had. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really humbled. And can you tell us a bit about the film that you've been, uh, you know, acting in and a bit about your character? Yeah, so the film is called In the Earth. It was directed by Ben Wheatley. Um, I suppose it was a take on the environment, how human beings interact with that, how human beings reason with reason and themselves. Um, so it was a sort of metaphorical, psychedelic whirlwind of a film. And uh, it, was, it was wonderful to work on. It was truly, truly liberating experience. And Ben Wheatley is one of those directors that I just think he's always surprising people. Like, he has such a diverse range of films. What was he like as a director? I mean, Ben is, is, is funny. He's, he's relaxed, but he's got a vision and he, he always knows what he wants. So you always feel safe whenever you're sort of ready to go and perform. Even if you don't know what you're doing, he knows what he wants from you. So there's great communication there. And um, yeah, I'd work with him again in a heartbeat. And what do you think people are going to take away from watching this film? Wow, I think a lot of things. I don't know if you've seen it, but um, there's a lot to take away from it. I think it really depends on how you sort of want to watch it. You can watch it and see it as a, a simple sort of horror uh, where, you know, two people are in the woods getting chased by a man with an axe, or you can watch it as a sort of fundamental, metaphorical resonance of the human experience. And what would it mean to you to be recognised, you know, with an award like this, like one of the people? Oh, wow, that's a massive question. I don't know. I'm not thinking about it too much. We'll see what happens, but... Um, It'll mean a lot. Uh, the world, definitely. <laughs> and, and how do you feel about the health of the British film industry right now? I mean, obviously, you know, it's been a tough time for all industries, but particularly cinema. But it feels like we still have such a rich and creative, you know, homegrown range of talent here. Yeah. I mean, I think that uh, it's, it's a robust industry. And I think art is made through conflict and turmoil. And I think that whilst this was one that was slightly not sort of brought on ourselves. I think it was something that made people question and um, internally sort of have those thoughts. So some of the work I've read recently has been absolutely mind blowing. So I think only better writing is to come and, and better stuff is to come. And, and how do you see opportunities for female, you know, <laughs> actors and particularly women of color like in the industry right now? Do you think that's something that's improving or is still a lot of work to be done? You know, I think we've come a really long way. Um, I think so much of it is about a balance of sort of the industry progressing, but also the individual taking responsibility and deciding, you know, what they say yes to, what they say no to, to try and have an impact. That's not always easy to do, but I do feel that the industry is moving towards a, uh, a into a place that I hope is more equal for everyone. Can you quickly tell us what you're going to work on next after this film? Oh man, uh, well I have a project lined up next year which uh, I can't quite discuss, but um, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Amazing. Lovely to chat to you. Enjoy the evening. Thanks so much. Cheers.